Another major topic during President Biden's meeting with President Obrador was the fentanyl that's flowing across the border. Another critical, critical example is we are accelerating our efforts to disrupt the trafficking of fentanyl and other drugs that are literally killing. We've had a major anti-smuggling operation underway since April. But as you know, Mr. President, we need every country in the region to join us. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody has been challenging the Biden administration's border policies, and she joins me now. Attorney General, good morning. It's great to see you. What do you make of good the morning. president's comments yesterday when it comes to fentanyl? Does that give you hope that uh, things will improve? Well, I can tell you as the person who leads law enforcement and works with prosecutors throughout the great state of Florida, I said specifically, this need, meeting needed to be about the most pressing health emergency we are facing, and that is fentanyl that is killing Americans. Over 200 Americans die every day to fentanyl overdose. We just this past weekend in one of our very, very small areas in Florida, less than 46,000 people lost nine people potentially to fentanyl overdose in a very short amount of time. We've been pleading with this administration to do more. And so as this meeting was coming up, I said the most important topic is to discuss with them fentanyl, fentanyl, fentanyl. And what did we hear about? Some operation that he's been talking about since April. You know, he needed to be detailed, focused, strong on this issue. He needed to say, we need your cooperation to seek out and destroy super labs producing fentanyl in Mexico that get all of those precursors, by the way, from China. We need your law enforcement's help, real help, not lip service, real help in going after these criminal cartels that are trafficking in and across our border. But get this, you saw that brief statement, and that was the only statement about fentanyl. He paid more attention. President Biden mentioned more times some, and I'm going to quote Biden, lovely lady with a camera that kept distracting him, then he did fentanyl. Meanwhile, the president, President Obrador, didn't even address it, yeah. said nothing in return about fentanyl, focused on what his country could do in terms of producing their own energy and, and what his country needed in terms of more folks coming across the border and how we could accommodate that. I was very disappointed. You know, disappointed is not a strong enough word. Yeah, you know, Attorney General, uh, focusing on the Mexican president, Lopez Obrador, apparently his politics if in this country would be most aligned with Bernie Sanders. And his um, policy in dealing with Mexican drug cartels is non-confrontation. He doesn't want to deal with it. And he, his motto is hugs, not bullets. Doesn't he have a greater responsibility than that to deal with this issue? Look, I'm a former federal drug prosecutor handling uh, international drug cases. I can tell you, drug cartel leaders do not respond to hugs mm -hmm. at all. They respond to leadership that's forceful, aggressive, ensures security for your people. That is what we had under very strong presidents in the past. We did not see the kind of focused, determined, uh, a detail-oriented approach that I would have expected and wanted from a president that's losing over 200 people a day to fentanyl overdose death. Uh, I was so, extraordinarily uh, disheartened. Yeah, Attorney General, uh, and, really quickly, and before, demand more from the leader of the go, United States of America. What would you have wanted to hear from President Biden yesterday? I would want to hear exactly how we demand Mexico cooperate with us, with us on these drug cartels. Again, help us seek out and destroy these super labs. Make sure that you're stopping the incoming flux of Chinese precursors that are, that are allowing the cartels in Mexico to make fentanyl that then floods across our right. wide open border, because again, Biden will do nothing about that illegally. Yeah. So there there were more things that he could have talked about, but he was not focused. He did not have the details. He didn't know enough about the subject matter to have a coherent, in-depth conversation. All he wanted to do was talk about uh, platitudes and big subject matters. He referenced fentanyl because he could not reference fentanyl, but it did no good in the right. end. And I'll tell you who came yeah. out looking stronger in terms of getting across his demands. Attorney General, that was Obrador. you're absolutely right. It is a multinational issue with Mexico and China, and people are dying here in the United States as a result. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, Carly. Great you to see you. Good to see you.